Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, and we're at Luke 8, 11 to 15. Let's read it out. Now, the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are the ones who hear. Then the devil comes and takes away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. But the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy. And those and these have no root, who believe for a while, and in time of temptation, fall away. Now the ones that fell among thorns are those who, when they have heard, go out and are choked with cares, riches, and pleasures of life, and bring no fruit to maturity. But the ones that fell on the good ground are those who, having heard the word with a noble and good heart, keep it, and bear fruit with patience. So now Jesus has given this parable here a couple of mornings back, and now the disciples have asked for an explanation, and Jesus gives them a, a broader as explanation here. And it's a little bit of an allegorical kind of an explanation. You know what an allegory is, right? It's kind of, uh, there's a whole bunch of pieces that all correspond to different truths that are being presented. So um, not very many parables are allegorical, but this is one that has a significant allegorical interpretation. Again, we always look for the writers, the Bible writers' intended meaning. We don't want to just come and impose a system, a system of interpretation on the word. We want to let the word interpret itself. So here, let's look at this and admitting, yes, this is a little bit more of an allegorical interpretation. First of all, those on the wayside are the ones who hear. The devil comes and takes away the word out of their hearts so they don't believe, they can't believe and be saved. Did you see that the devil is able to come if we permit him? He's able to come and take the word out of where? I mean, what's the deepest thing? Taking the word out of your heart. That means that these are people who, uh, for whatever reason, are allowing the devil all the way into the heart. And he's able to come and take God's word and remove it. Okay, those people are in trouble. Are the ones on the rock, they hear, they receive the word with joy. I mean, everything looks wonderful. Uh, hey, this is great. And we've all known people like this, haven't we? Maybe we've even been that person. But, but they have no root. They believe for a while in a time of temptation, they fall away. So something comes up and uh, in the emergency, in the crisis, they just, they just completely lose it. Okay, that's some thing that we don't want to be. Then we have the ones that fall among thorns. They, uh, they've heard it, but then they're choked by the cares of this world. Okay, that sounds pretty familiar, doesn't it? We're always so busy. There's so many things going on. And sometimes the, the, the true and the most noble things of life are crowded out. We don't want that to be us. But really what we want to look at is the last piece. But the ones that fell on the good ground are those who, and, and here they are, and here's what we want to be. Those who, having heard the word with a noble and good heart. See, that's the good ground. I want to hear God's word with a noble and good heart. It says here, they keep it and they bear fruit with patience. They endure. They're everything that these first three groups are not. They hear with a noble and a good heart. And many times, if we're not careful, we will not be hearing God's word with a noble or a good heart. So again, we want to be able to receive, and in order to receive, there's a certain thing we have to have. It's like if you've got a, a, a cup of water, so here's some water, and uh, if this had a hole in the bottom, it couldn't hold the water. It would just dr drain out. We've got to be have solid bottoms. We've got to be able to hold. As God gives us, gives us truth, we want to be able to take that and let it uh, be a resilient part of our life experience. So uh, may we be that noble and good heart hearers. Let's pray. Your Father in heaven, thank you for your word. Uh, help us to be not stony ground hearers or choked hearers or any of those. Give us a noble and good heart so that the word will bear fruit and we can by patience follow Jesus. Now, Lord, we ask for this help because on our own, we will fail. But with your help and your strength, we will prevail. Thank you for your gifts. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Friend, may this be true for your experience and for mine. God's blessings be with you every step you take today.